परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वेन वी लैक पेशंस वी बिकम पेशंस पेशंस इज अ साइन ऑफ इनर स्ट्रेंथ Patience is the reflection of wisdom. Patience is a positive force in every one of us to give opportunity to the Lord to help us. Many a times, because of lack of patience, we spoil the whole life. Therefore. if we want to succeed in any field be it your management or women management do you know management is outside the house women management is inside the house <laughs> for both the fields patience is required now if we want to develop patience what we have to do what are the factors which contribute to the development of patience what are the factors which are responsible for taking away the patience from us and how we can change our chemistry so that our life becomes beautiful these are the few topics we'll try to understand please remember one thing in one talk if i stuff a lot of ideas you know what will happen there will be overflowing like the narmada dam i am just coming from there therefore it is better that we have one or two or three ideas and interact so intensely that this knowledge no more remains with me it becomes your knowledge because like with the money in your pocket i don't become rich in the same manner with the knowledge in my head you don't become wise you have to have your own wisdom it can't be bought it has to be discovered from within now let us see the more prosperous a person is less is the patience for him this is the equation prosperity is inversely proportionate to the patience do you remember earlier days we used to send a letter somebody is extremely serious and will write a letter and post it and it will reach after the person kriya karma is over and now what happens you know i get a lot of uh, emails you all know what is the meaning of email emotional blackmail <laughs> so i get lot of them and ultimately i have come to a conclusion that there is no point in replying them so i stop but now latest another virus has come do you know the name of the latest virus sms <laughs> and this sms floods your phone continuously non stop and some of the sms are really good 
and some of them are full of wisdom wit humor some of them are good for passing on to others like wisdom <laughs> so when we did not have very fast communication we were living happily now what happens we take the mouse click the mail and expect that the other side the cat is sitting doing nothing only waiting for the mouse to come <laughs> and if you don't reply in a day or two then immediately a phone comes so how many i think i sent you email you are not reply therefore we start losing patience when we have got too many options in life now the second point prosperity is always associated with more number of options more the number of options more confused you are more the number of options more disturbed you are more the number of options uh you cannot take any decision for example you know for me there is only one option as regard the clothing is concerned whether i go to the bathroom it is the same dress whether i go for a marriage it is the same dress or i go to the temple it is the same dress or i go to the bed it is the same dress for you people if the marriage is in uh, on the 1st of january 2007 you start thinking from 2005 <laughs> because there are so many options therefore this patience has to be recognized at the level of mind patience is not something like a lid you keep it on the glass no patience is inner strength when we have inner strength then nothing is impossible in this world when we lack inner strength we lose patience and therefore you will see uh why the wise people have a lot of patience like one person asked me the other day swami ji you have been talking on gita on various platforms for so many years but people don't change don't you feel disgusted when the people are going to change why don't they do like that i said because i have got one great blessing from the lord and that is patience you know what patience means patience means understanding that when you talk nobody listens that is called as patience now if i have this foolish understanding that i am talking and you are all listening with all understanding ah then i am fooling myself earlier i used to call my lecture sessions as bluff sessions you know what are you doing and nothing bluffing left and right and i was thinking that i am wise but one day i discovered that i am otherwise do you know how i was thinking that i am bluffing the whole audience but the truth was i am a bluff but are they listening so they pretend that they are listening with all sincerity but not one word enters once you recognize this that you are in this world to express your inherent joy see if you want to express your inherent joy you have to have patience you must have seen many mahatmas of our brand they have very less patience and they become extremely angry over small small issues isn't it like you know some wise people are coming late because they know coming early is no meaning 
Now when they are coming late, I as a Babaji, I will become very angry, you know. Now why I become angry? Because, you know, see I am talking and they are coming late. But why do you talk? <laughs> Next point about patience. You know, when we do something, like I am talking to you, now our uh, AMA Managing Director, Mr. Nair, he is someone special for me in this world, I tell you. He is someone very special for me. Because I have not seen a person more perfect than him. If you put dozens of Swamiji's like me on one side of the scale and his picture on the other side of the scale, it will weigh more. You know what is the reason? The reason is all these topics that are there, I see him as the ideal example. Because he has that patience. Now what is the patience? For example, he was after me for last uh, how many years? 12-13 years. That Swamiji, uh, we should have a series of lectures based on Bhagavad Gita which will be a uh, a great source of inspiration for the managers and therefore you should have it. And he saw that I sit with him and with a paper and a pen and he asked me, compelled me to give the topics. And I finally one day, I said, sit down, no, you write down, I am not going to write. He said, yes, Anaj. And he wrote down 30, 40 topics. I started bluffing one after another. I thought, you know, my uh, problem is over. That was the beginning of the problem. <laughs> From that day onwards, he has never left me. How many times I have tried to avoid him. But with his sweet smile, ah, Swamiji, you please come. There is no choice given to you. See? He said, Swamiji, I know you are extremely busy. But this also I know that you can come for me. Now <laughs> you can look here. So I asked him, I said, hey, you are a Keralite. Having come to Gujarat, have you become a Gujarati? <laughs> no? So when we have patience, we can get anything done in this world. And this patience is inner strength. Don't give up. Once you are committed to the cause, be very attentive. Once you are committed to the cause, there is nothing like difficulties. When there are nothing like difficulties, you will never be short of patience. What is patience? Patience is the ability to go beyond all the possible difficulties born out of time. One of the difficulty in our life is time. See? Those people who have got lot of time, they suffer the most. Isn't it? Those who are short of time, they never suffer in life. Have you seen children getting bored? No, they don't have time. And we, 17 not out, 18 not out. We have got all the time in the whole world and therefore all the time worried, now what next I should do? Bahu chai banai kya? The highest goal of life, taking a cup of tea. Ram, Ram, Ram. So to discover the patience, what is required is commitment to the goal, commitment to the cause. When you have commitment to the goal and the cause, you will have tremendous patience and tremendous inner strength. Higher the goal you select in your life, 
more will be the patience you will discover in your life. If the goal of our life is, I get up early, not early, I get up in the morning whenever I want, and then I get a nice cup of tea. Disgusting goal? This is not goal, this is flat. <laughs> Isn't it? Something beyond the reach of a common man. See, I stay in Kaivalya Dham Lonala, and backside there is a very huge dam, Walwal Dam they call it. And that dam is a source of uh, power generation, idle power for the city of Bombay. Then Bombay is the only city in the, our country where there is no electricity cut or a failure. All other places electricity comes for a change. Normally it is not there. Are bijli agaya? Something wrong. <laughs> now how that dam was built? More than 130 years before, Jamshed Ji Tata, he told the then English engineers to do survey for him in all those hills, western guards. And everybody or including those uh, English engineers, they classified him as a mad crack. But today, his, that vision is giving light in every house. When we have a great vision and dedication to your own vision, then nothing in this world can stop you from achieving. What we lack in life is this vision. And the vision can be extraordinary if you go beyond the limit of your own body. Gross body. Understand? Gross body. In our Gujarati, there is nothing like gross body. Isn't it? We have to rise above that. And rising above that is fix some higher goal in life. What is the goal that you have fixed Swamiji in your life? Because you have got patience, it appears. I'll tell you what is the goal I have fixed in my life. Like every Babaji gets into this business of spirituality, to see God. And I have told God, please don't come, I am busy. I don't want to see God. Because I have seen all those who wanted to see God, they have made the lives of the human being miserable. I said, I don't want to see God. Then what? There was a great saint who influenced my life a lot from Vrindavan. And he came to Calcutta. I was in Calcutta those days. And I saw he was old, having cataract, cancer in the large intestine, no control over the defecation. And I helped him and brought him and put him on the stage. He said, kindly keep the lungi, etc. proper. People will laugh at me that I am not sitting properly. Old man, about... 80 or 78 plus. So innocent like a pure child. And it was a Marwadi crowd. Marwadi crowd means most disorganized crowd. Anybody will come, put chandan and then uh, flower and uh, apple on the head and all kinds of things. You know? And talking and coughing and every kind of thing. And one person stood and started reading reading a question paper and such a noise all around and that time I was young discipline people should be disciplined oh, oh, like that you know and he was so calm and quiet I was thinking I should get up and tell hey keep quiet but I didn't God's grace and after he heard the whole question paper which hardly anybody would have been able to hear, 
he restated that question and in the restatement of the question the answer was hidden and that was the biggest shock for me that here is a perfection wherever there is perfections perfection there is patience not at all disturb friends choice is yours you have to decide like you know when you are listening to me i am just giving an example i know you are not when you are listening to me suppose somebody comes from that side is it necessary to see who has ah very important document you know <laughs> see disturbance may be there but the question is do you have the ability to have selection what you should listen in this world there was a husband and a wife always fighting after some time the husband stopped fighting and the wife got angry so she told me sanjay i don't know what happened to him these days he is not the same one since he came in your contact i said yes i have spoiled all the husbands you were just one but why he is like that he was not like that earlier i said i have given him maha mantra what is that i said i will not tell you no 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 you have to tell me i said hey husband tell your wife the maha mantra he told swami ji told me and he fix in my ear one technique shaili i went to somebody's house the technique means shaili one technique what is that selective hearing <laughs> so since he started practicing selective hearing there are no problems isn't it now all the husbands though if you really want to get rid of not the wife the problems create <laughs> practice this you know what will happen this technique you can apply anywhere focus your attention on the goal that you have chosen so the goal that i have chosen is this don't lose your cool may the whole world be on fire this is the goal that's it see by only listening this goal are you not feeling good and once you practice this you have practiced all your is spirituality in uttar pradesh there is no spirituality is spirituality nothing more to be achieved in life patience demonstrated in life is peace lack of patience is in pieces see therefore friends discover that inner strength by dedicating for something higher in life and you should select such a goal that you which you can never achieve in this life don't fix a goal uh, i will have one dhokla are <laughs> third class goal so once you fix a goal now take this goal and see your patience develops or not what is their goal don't lose your cool may what happen to anybody in this world don't lose your cool slowly slowly you will discover one thing that every time you have lost your patience you are the loser and nobody else so if you want to win in life if you want to succeed in life what is required is patience patience is giving time and opportunity to help you 
we don't give the time any opportunity to help us i remember once it happened in uh, some place i was called for food so i need please come for food i said okay that is the only purpose i go to anybody's house otherwise i don't go this is not a suggestion <laughs> but this is a fact so that person called me come for food i said all right and then i was preparing means keeping fast so he came and said 11 o'clock 12 o'clock we had all the topics on the world discuss and then he said suddenly oh swami ji i'm sorry i had to rush i got some urgent guest coming at home i totally forgot my wife will fire me and he ran and i was waiting there ekame vadvitiya neha dhoklasti nothing there to eat and i was waiting 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 and that day i didn't get food and again next time he came swami ji you have to come to our house you always play uh, promise but you don't come i said oh lord how much you want to play with me because i don't observe ekadashi do you know my rule of uh, my method of uh, developing patience keep the stomach full and head empty <laughs> you will have good patience otherwise monday there is monday tuesday there is tuesday wednesday there is santoshi mata then thursday there is guruvar then friday there is balaji saturday is hanuman ji and sunday there is ekadashi why make yourself suffer when you don't take food you think about food so what you have done misplacement of the food instead of the stomach it has gone in the head so don't do that so again he called i said okay i'll come and then that day uh, by god's grace he did not forget and i had nice meal and then i was uh, talking to him you know i said can you believe this thing what is that people call uh, you for food and then they don't give you food some it is not possible i said my name is anubhavanand i talk about my anubhav <laughs> <laughs> who could do that swami ji i can't trust that there is a man like this on this earth i said don't have to trust you don't trust that you are alive you are isn't it <laughs> <laughs> he says i'm so sorry i don't know how it happened i said look here i was practicing my own spiritual practice when we lack patience we misunderstand people very easy those who lack patience they always misunderstand the other day i received one phone uh, call from one girl about 3 4 years before she met me somewhere and she was very sincere student in bombay and studied two three upanishads also writing notes and very dedicated suddenly something went into her head probably the undigested spirituality many people suffer from spiritual poisoning <laughs> that is what happens it happened to her also and then she started uh becoming very funny and uh, started writing swami ji i know you don't like me you have other people why you should bother for me i have served you so much i have done so much for you but you never care for me so i used to read the paper uh, that letter and tear it and throw it there nothing to respond to this and uh, once or twice phone also i wrote you you near no oh, oh, like that and I, ultimately she went to the point of the song i hate you so i told her i said my dear darling i love you and put down the phone then she started running from this ashram to that ashram this baba ji that baba ji going here going there and after having got kicked and rubbed in a wrong way 
Then Swamiji, do you remember me? I said, yes, darling, how are you? I want to meet you. I said, I am in Delhi, you are in Delhi. I am passing from there by a car, so come to the airport. She came to the airport. And then when she came, running, running, hugging and all that, and Swamiji, you are the same one. I wrote you so nasty letters. I said, I am telling you frankly, what I, I never read them. <laughs> Friends, if you have to understand your life, if you want to succeed in your life, please remember, success in life cannot be only outside success. Success is a perfect balance between external prosperity and inner peace. External prosperity, how to do, you know better than me. I am specialized not in the pieces. I am specialized in the peace. Therefore, when we are interacting in this world without patience, what happens? There are dents and scratches on our mind. And when we interact with the world with patience, that interaction with the patience is called as not a reaction, but a response. When you respond, you are responsible. And when you are responsible, you will never lose. An irresponsible person will lose, not a responsible person. Therefore, patience is the wealth within, when it is applied without, success is guaranteed. See, the fight between the husband and the wife. This is the universal example. Isn't it? Because what for other people get married for? I don't think there is any other reason because you require a partner to fight and that will legal fight, you know. <laughs> so, you don't have to hunt up, kisko jagda karo, chalo hai, ghar ka hi hai, laga. So, once between the two, husband is supposed to look after the outer world and the wife is supposed to look after the inner world. Keep this balance in your life. You will be definitely successful in your life in its totality. And this can be understood if you have patience to listen, reflect and discover. You know what happens? Those who don't have patience when they come and start listening to, let us say, Upanishad, after 50 minutes they get tired. Uh, right? This fellow is not stopping. With every one additional minute, he is getting heated up and more and more inspired. And I am feeling disgusted. What is this Brahma, Brahma? One day, one person came to the ashram where I was staying. Four lectures a day, morning meditation, then three Upanishad lectures, evening satsang. And the theme is some Brahma Vidya. After two days, he came, elderly man, with great sympathy for me. He said, Swamiji, uh, I um, request you one thing. What is that? You don't worry about Brahman, please, okay? We all agree we are Brahman. <laughs> now, let's just uh, change the topic. <laughs> when you don't have patience, you cannot study. When you don't have patience, you cannot understand. When you don't have patience, you cannot apply. When you don't have patience, you are a disgust with yourself. Therefore, patience is your inner strength. And with that inner strength, interact with the world. You will never lose in your life. When we don't have patience, we get lost in arguments. We react when it is not required. 
I'll give two examples about this. You know, when there are some kind of news in the newspaper, people become very excited and they react. Like that, in uh, I think 96 or 97, there was a news that there is one Swami from Karnataka who got married to his dis uh, disciple and he was something like 50 and she was something like 17 or 20. Newspaper. Now, if this news is not given, who will buy the newspaper? So, such a news comes the front line. When this news came, one lady came and I was just going for my lecture. Swamiji, I want to talk to you some. I said, no time. I had to go for my talk, you talk afterwards. So, I'll also go. I said, please come. She sat in the car, we went, finished the talk. And it was such a deep contemplative talk on Mandukya Upanishad. So, with that deep contemplation, I got down from the dais, so quiet within, and sat in the car and went to my place. Swamiji, I said, shut up. Keep quiet. Okay. We went and we had our food. Uh, Swamiji, can I ask now? I said, okay, my dear mother, ask. Have you read this news? So what news? You know, one Swami got married to his disciple in South. What do you have to say? Now, what can you talk to such a dumb? So you become angry or you become frustrated or you kick her out. So what I did was this. I said, Amma, if you have come with a proposal to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you become angry, if you react, you lose your balance. And when you lose your balance, you are the loser. See, let anybody say anything, you don't lose your cool. That is the beauty. And that can happen only when, when you have got plenty of patience. Because what is patience? Patience is, you don't want to reach the destination. You enjoy traveling. Many people ask us this question, Swamiji, where is your ashram? When I tell them the truth, they don't like and nobody likes the truth. Suppose I talk to you regarding the absolute reality, how the truth is non-dual, one without a second, how the waking and the dream are equally dreams, and how the dreams are not real and you are the substratum supporting the waking dream, deep sleep and also all possible in-between stages and you are never denied in your existence. So, I mean, what you are talking about? And suppose I start telling you some scandal. Oh. We get so much attracted towards the untruth, not towards the truth. So, here I am telling you a very simple technique. In this, this comes from Narad Bhakti Sutra. Never, never get entangled in any argumentativeness with anybody in this world. You will have real patience inside. There is nothing to argue with anybody. If a fool calls a horse a donkey, then starts arguing with him or with you. Why hit your head against the donkey? <laughs> Keep yourself cool. Yes, very good. That is the truth. There is nothing to prove. Next point. To have patience is to have this philosophy. There is nothing to prove in this world. There is a friend of mine he had some problem in his uh, job, government job, in a public undertaking. And he had some kind of case going on and he is very simple and very nice. And such simple, nice means dumb and stupid people are always caught up. 
we have the wrong understanding simple living high thinking it is in a stupid living and dumb thinking so he is that kind and he is caught up and then here i want to take the vrs and to leave the job and i will prove hang on this thing that thing i said very good first of all remember your whole life you have spent in a government job therefore now you are good for nothing <laughs> second thing you want to prove to whom to your boss after resigning he will not care for you because while you are in the job he doesn't care <laughs> therefore remember this principle don't have to prove anything to anybody in this world see i don't have to prove the other day somebody asked me swami ji uh, excuse me you know there is uh, uh, garlic in that then i said what should i do no no there is garlic i said yes, there is garlic then no do you eat i said yes you eat garlic i said yes you are a swami i said yes what next even then you eat i said yes even then i eat but they say that the swamis don't eat garlic na no, the word used was mahatma log kehte ki mahatma log garlic nahi khate humne kaha hum chhota atma hai <laughs> see please remember one thing to have patience no no obsession about anything when we don't have patience we are obsessed another example about obsession and patience see what happens there was one conference in pune in 98 and the topic was your international conference people from over 107 countries came and the topic was reverence for life and i was supposed to conclude the whole conference three days i have suffered there and what was the reverence for life every speaker was talking about how vegetarian food is the only food continuously condemning the non vegetarian food habit people to such an extent one person said when i see these people eating the non vegetarian i feel that a mobile graveyard of the dead animals is going around and all other uh, uh, vegetables were clapping after all that was over then i had to conclude three days i suffered you can imagine then i said oh lord kindly cancel all my prayers i have offered so far the whole audience was surprised what kind of prayer i am offering normally prayers are in sanskrit isn't it which nobody understands including the speaker and the god <laughs> you know my logo is be happy that is my logo so one person asked me swami ji uh, how come you have this kind of logo normally there is some om and some sanskrit word you know like satyam e vajayate or sarve bhavantu sukhina and then there is a sunrise or there is a snake and then there is a rat and some kind of thing you know what is this kind of logo that you have be happy i said all those logos are not meant for logo logon ke liye nahi hote wo apne liye hote logo should be for the log isn't it i said my logo is only human being not animals see focus attention on this principle that is most important so when we are focusing attention in this manner on this truth then everything you will see uh, falls in the right place so i started my prayer oh lord please cancel all my prayers offered so far this is my latest and probably the final prayer the prayer is oh lord in the next life kindly make me a pumpkin <laughs> then i ask do you know why i offered this prayer to the lord i want to be a really really vegetarian next life 
only pumpkin i said look here my dear friends is our humanity less divided there are how many criteria that the humanity is already divided on the basis of the religion on the basis of the color on the basis of the language on the basis of the prosperity over developed never developed nations how many criteria that the society is divided as if these criteria were less in number you want to add one more vegetarian non vegetarian why you worry what others eat think it is good that you eat vegetarian yes you go on grazing one day i went to somebody's house for food and uh, they say swami ji uh, you know in our family everybody follows naturopathy and then uh, they showed me seven pots with the day one length of the sprouted wheat two days three days six days seven days like that and you know what we do we take the seventh day sprouted thing and we all eat that so after that namaskar chamatkar and mala everything was over i came on my knees and went to their grazing ground <laughs> swami ji i said look here if you like naturopathy eat mud i have no objection but i am a human being and i want nice mirch masala papad achar that is life what is this eating like the buffaloes <laughs> okay you eat you have freedom but why not compel others patience will be your friend if you are not obsessed with anything in this world obsession is one of the biggest problem in our life we are all obsessed with something or the other the other day one person met me in uh, washington dc he came and after my talk started talking he was talking to me in pure chest sanskrit and all other people watching you because they are people don't know any language and he was talking to me and i was replying in english then he said uh, but uh, swami ji uh, you don't talk in sanskrit i said no i don't know sanskrit yeah, i can't believe i said i also can't believe <laughs> <laughs> then i told him i said look here you may study you may talk but who understands see what is the purpose of the language purpose of the language is to communicate the thoughts if somebody talks to you in sanskrit mudho si maha murkho si <laughs> thank you and somebody tells you in urdu dile jaan mai tumse pyar karta hu shiva 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 will you do that no more than the spoon what are the contents in the spoon if you have a golden spoon with the leftover sabji from 3 days and if you have a plastic spoon and a garam garam rasagulla aha what you will prefer spoon no unless one is a chamcha <laughs> therefore patience can be our property if we have given up all kinds of obsessions upanishad tells vijanan vidwan bhavate nati vadi a wise one is the one who is not obsessed with anything ignorant are those who are obsessed with every small little thing on the basis of this alone we are surviving in this world see we are not obsessed that you should listen to us therefore we go on talking otherwise you just take this example i was getting down at bangalore and i was waiting for my luggage to come on this um, belt one person came he said swami ji 
I've been hearing you all the time on the TV. I just want to know. So many years you are talking, but people don't change. Don't you feel disgusted? I said, no. I like it, on the contrary, when people don't change. Why? I said, if they change, to whom will I talk? <laughs> it's good that they don't change. A doctor never likes a patient to be healthy. Isn't it? Like the doctor survives on the diseases, we survive on the ignorance. So maintain, we pray to the Lord. You know, our prayer is different. <laughs> All the secrets I am telling you, I should not have told. Now, once you take this view of life, you start remaining extremely light. Be very attentive. Wisdom is light. Knowledge is heavy. When you know so many things, you are carrying the load of that knowledge. Erudition, scholarship. But when the same knowledge you have interacted properly and convert that knowledge into wisdom, wisdom is light. And when you start living the life in the light of wisdom, you are extremely happy. A happy person alone has patience. A miserable person can never have patience. A miserable person, lack of patience, expresses as a cursing machinery for the whole universe. Such people are only cursing everybody. Government is like that, people are like that. I don't know, everybody is bad in this world except me. Go on cursing. And such people make their life miserable and make everybody's life miserable. Therefore, friends, patience is reflected in our life when we remain cool and quiet. If you are happy because of your wife, what is your contribution? Zero. If you are happy in spite of your wife, hey, you are really a gem. Isn't it? Difficulties are the rubbing stones on which you shine up in life. So every difficulty that comes to us is a technique Lord has employed for bringing higher quality of patience in us. Now take this example. When you are quiet and calm, you know, you discover so many things. This is how I have discovered many things. One or two things I'll tell you. What are the discoveries? One day, one man came and he was very frustrated because of his son. And so disgusted, he came, Swamiji, I don't know what I should do, you know, I am so fed up because of my son and I can't do anything, he's my own son and I am disgusted, Swami, please help me. So I told him, I said, principle number one, if you have even God as your son, you will be miserable. Children or the uh, son or daughters are the revenges taken on us by the Lord, because we have forgotten Him. He said, how come? I said, take for example. Dasharajji Maharaj had a son who was God Himself, is it not? Dasharatha is the living example who suffered maximum because of the son. Is it not? So when Sakshat Bhagwan is your son, you suffer. And when this chota mota useless fellow is your son, you are bound to suffer. <laughs> One example. Second example. When Bhagwan Sri Krishna was the son of Vasudev, right before birth, already in the prison, look here. <laughs> so conclude, nobody in this world can be happy because of the children. Once you take this principle in life, 
देर आफ्टर इफ यू गेट हैप्पीनेस यू अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग रॉन्ग विथ योर चाइल्ड नो टेक दिस पॉजिटिव व्यू यू विल नेवर नेवर बी डिस्गस्टेड मीनिंग यू विल हैव जीरो लेवल एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम योर चिल्ड्रन सी एंड दिस यू हैव टू लर्न थ्रू पेशेंस and when every this kind of difficulty becomes our learning ground you grow wise day by day see in uh, patanjali yoga darshan there is one sutra regarding memory there are five types of thoughts pramana viparyaya vikalpa smriti and nidra so the smriti or memory is what when you interact with somebody or something as a result of that you gain knowledge knowledge is added to make you wise and the object is added to your memory to make you suffer we all suffer because of the memories therefore simple technique i'll tell you those people who learn from their own experiences to learn from your own experience we require perseverance now the second topic i am taking what is perseverance perseverance is commitment to learn when we learn from our own life we start growing wise and when we don't learn from our life we start growing old and otherwise decide who can teach us better than our own experiences and therefore this is one of the technique by which you can stop growing old what is the sign of old age you know sign of old age is when we have come to a point where we don't want to learn anything you must have seen in your houses elderly people when they look at the computer i don't know what is this compu phobia is a new phobia developed in the society when they look at no no beta tum karo tum karo i will not touch is it going to bum, bounce on you or what fear of learning if we keep ourselves busy in learning throughout life you will develop more and more perseverance and patience result is you will grow wise when you grow wise your life is worth living and such people alone are really successful in life see what happens this is the problem everywhere in the western world now this has started appearing in our country also because we are also trying to imitate them and the problem is the problem of loneliness the problem of uh, feeling neglected the problem of seeking attention of other people why all these requirements friends whenever we have demanded respect because of the old age we don't deserve the respect respect is never demanded it is commanded and that can come when these two positive qualities are in us patience and perseverance with perseverance learn from every experience of life and with patience face with inner strength every situation in life when these two positive forces join hands sky is the limit because of the patience your inner quality will be maintained and because of the perseverance you will keep on growing in the outer world and thus there will be a proper balance in the external prosperity and inner peace like a tree 
when you sow a seed the tree doesn't grow only upward the tree grows both upward as well as downward the upward growth is supported by the downward growth in the same manner success is not only the external achievements that is only looking at the foliage but where from the inner strength comes the roots are going deeper and deeper in the soil and going deep within is the result of the patience and flourishing in the outer world is through the perseverance apply yourself without giving up you are bound to succeed in life and then alone life is really lived many a times we lack this and therefore afterwards we regret i wish i should not have done this thing i don't know why i had no he had no patience therefore patience is to be observed inside and perseverance is to be applied outside i make it very clear now we go one step further what is the source of patience where from patience comes patience comes from the absolute reality the nearer you are to the truth the more patience you have how all kinds of experiences good bad now i am taking you very deep be extremely attentive don't sleep when we are going through any experience let us say experience that you are going through is hearing me whether i talk extremely light and jokes or i talk something deep philosophy or i just don't talk anything all these three options are illumined enlivened by your mind similarly the waking experience comes and goes dream comes and goes deep sleep comes and goes but the reality supporting all of them have tremendous patience waking has come suffering has started the substratum the reality supporting all good and bad experiences does not run away supports everything therefore when we are having more and more patience we are nearer to our own self so patience is a direct measurement how in close proximity you are with the real truth and when we are away from our center from our core and we are at the periphery of our personality such a person will have less and less patience and therefore we go very slowly and steadily and see that now the last topic i'll touch and conclude when we are living in this world there are three places where we can exist one at the distance the world second at the experience close and with ourselves the closest like when you are listening to me when you are hearing my words you are far away from yourself when these words are creating some knowledge in you and you are experiencing that knowledge you are away from the words but nearer to the knowledge and when 
this knowledge is no more a load on you but it is digested and assimilated understanding maturing and fructifying as wisdom then you are closer than the closest remain in this close proximity all the time and like a great artist balancing on a rope with not a bicycle but monocycle and the rope is also moving here and there and then there is a long stick or a umbrella and going on that and when the whole uh, length of the rope is cross don't we all clap why something great is achieved friends more than that achievement can be your life when you sail through the high tides of your life without losing your balance and bringing out the best in you and for that purpose alone every difficulty is given therefore don't look at the difficulties as the problems take them as challenges and have the patience to win over them by having perseverance to apply without giving up when these two points are brought together like a huge tree you will grow without as well as within deep within your roots and up to the sky and this is the only way that we can really be successful in life success in life can never be measured unilaterally only one side no both the sides external prosperity must be a part of our life don't have the wrong notion spirituality means what means all poverty why our spirituality is like that no don't have the wrong approach work hard earn a lot the other day somebody asked me this question swami ji what is your opinion about uh, you know we should start saving in our life so that you know the money comes to our help i said i don't believe in saving then i believe in spending who can spend who can earn see don't have that wrong notion in life earn to spend or don't earn to accumulate for the children to make lazy earn every mo um, moment a lot and lot and spend the total if i am given the opportunity to make a law for our country i'll make one law no property of any kind can be inherited by any child see mere pote ka kya hoga khota khota in punjabi means donkey let everybody work hard earn and live a dynamic life and get out of it otherwise we keep on earning 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 why i know for my children because they are my children they can't be better you know therefore i have to do it are you ram ram don't you have confidence in your own children that they will come up as a result what happens we are making bonsai is of our children i went to this uh, um baruch what that place was very nice colony narmada colony huh Ah, uh, GNFC. So after I saw that that person was conducting me, he said, "Swami ji, how do you like?" I said, "These stones and bricks has never attracted my mind. My interest is in the living being, human being, not the animals." I said, "What is that?" I said, "You know, with this so much of security, security around, all your children must be bonsai, isn't it? Bonsai look beautiful." in a protected environment isn't it 
the moment the difficulties come, the bonsai dies away. Why remain a bonsai in life? Why not become a huge tree, support millions? That is life. Therefore, take every difficulty as a grinding stone and apply yourself properly. Shine, become sharp and grow wise. This whole put together is a perfect balance between patience and perseverance to succeed in life. Failures are difficult, therefore nobody tries. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Shanti